The Witcher Season 3 Part 1 finishes on a huge Geralt cliffhanger, setting up Part 2. Netflix broke The Witcher Season 3 into two parts, like Stranger Things Season 4 and New Season 4. Thus, The Witcher Season 3 Part 1 comprises five episodes. The Witcher Season 3 Part 2 will reveal Geralt's fate and Thanet's war. The Witcher Season 3 Henry Cavill's last as Geralt of Rivia covers Anders Ed Sepkowski's time of contempt. Geralt, Yennefer, and Ciri fled their numerous troubles as a family. The Witcher Season 3 Part 1's finale shows that one of Ciri's deadliest threats was closer than expected. The Witcher Season 3 Episode 5 The Art of Illusion sets up Volume 2. The Witcher Season 3 Episode 5 Timeline The Witcher Season 3 Episode 5's timeline was non-linear. The Art of Illusion begins with Geralt and Yennefer at the end of their evening. Recalling the ball at Eretusa, the finale of part 1 established that Geralt and Yennefer had succeeded in their plan, so most of the scenes in the episode were flashbacks from the party. The Witcher Season 3 Part 1's finale wanted audiences to believe that Geralt and Yennefer had won, so it begins with the duo recalling their plan and how it all worked out. At the same time, the art of illusion played with the idea of unreliable narrators by showing different versions of the same interactions in different flashbacks such as Geralt and Istrid fighting at the party. In The Witcher Season 3, Episode 5, Geralt and Yennefer's plan to expose and arrest Stregobor was confirmed by Istred and Triss, who found the Book of the Monoliths in the Eretuza's library. However, the episode also hinted that something was wrong. Geralt's fate in The Witcher Season 3, Part 1 The Witcher Season 3, Part 1's finale ends with Dijkstra putting a knife to Geralt's throat after he and Yennefer realized Viljeforts was the real traitor. In The Witcher Season 3, Part 1's finale, Geralt and Viljeforts had a lengthy conversation about their pasts and the Brotherhood of Sorcerer's origins. Dijkstra and Philippa's real ball behavior Dijkstra and Philippa, who are part of King Vizimir II's court and lead Redanian intelligence, were at the fainted ball to investigate the Brotherhood of Sorcerer's traitor. They learned in The Witcher Season 3, Part 1 that a powerful mage working for Nilfgaard was a Brotherhood member. At the ball, they had to confirm who the traitor was and who Elsin thought was a traitor. Dijkstra and allies arrest Nilfgaard loyalists. The Witcher Season 3, Part 1's finale ends with Geralt hearing screams from downstairs, including a call to secure the hall and bring the Dimeridium handcuffs. Dijkstra, Philippa, and their allies are arresting Nilfgaard loyalists at the Fainted Ball, and the Dimeridium handcuffs prevent mages from using magic. Dijkstra tests Geralt's neutrality. Geralt spent the first part of The Witcher Season 3 arguing that neutrality was the best approach to all the conflicts that were yet to come, including the war between Nilfgaard and the North. He even advised Ciri to remain neutral in the conflict between humans and elves, even though Cirilla of Sintra is of elder blood and could possibly bridge these two factions. Geralt refused to fight for Redania in the war against Amhervarim Reyes and Nilfgaard, but Dijkstra believed that either Geralt would fight for Redania or become an enemy of the North. Geralt's neutrality is being tested, especially at a time when no one can be trusted. Geralt's future After the Fainan coup begins in time of contempt, a mage on Dijkstra's side blinds Geralt with a spell, making it easier for Dijkstra and Philippa to hold Geralt as a prisoner. Geralt's eyesight is later restored, but he remains a prisoner because the forces of the North see him as a threat. Time of Contempt follows Geralt as the Thainted Coop unfolds, with the Witcher searching for Ciri as the mages fight among themselves. Geralt also meets Cahir in Viljeforts. Based on what happens to Geralt in Time of Contempt, the second part of The Witcher Season 3 will likely focus on the mages. Viljeforts' twist in The Witcher 3 explained. The Witcher Season 3, Part 1's finale suggests that Stregover was the traitor, but Episode 5 shows that Viljeforts, a mage secretly working for Nilfgaard, kidnapped and experimented on Eretuza students of elven blood. Viljeforts has been manipulating the Brotherhood of Sorcerers since the beginning of The Witcher. In Season 2, with Tissé's help, he became one of the Brotherhood's leaders, slowly consolidating his power and influence. Yennefer and Geralt only discovered this in Season 3, Episode 5, after Stregober was arrested. Geralt, Yennefer misjudged Stregober. Stregober is a bad guy, but this time, Geralt and Yennefer were wrong about him. Based on Stregober's story in The Witcher Season 1, his hatred for partially elven, his interest in experiments, and the way he treats others, Geralt had every reason to believe that Stregober was the traitor. The fact that the Book of Monoliths went missing from Eretuza's library, which only a Brotherhood of Sorcerous Mage could have accessed, further supported Geralt's. Viljeforts is The Witcher 3's true villain. Viljeforts, who only had two scenes in The Witcher Season 3, Part 1's finale, fooled the Brotherhood of Sorceress, Geralt, Yennefer, Istred, and Triss, who were investigating the missing girls in the Book of Monoliths. Viljeforts hired Reens to capture Ciri and healed Reens's hand after Geralt broke it. Geralt and Yennefer discovered Viljeforts was the traitor. In The Witcher Season 3, Philippa implied to Yennefer that those behind the Battle of Sodden wanted the mages to suffer major losses. Viljeforts led the Brotherhood into the battle, which killed several mages and weakened the Brotherhood. The second hint that Viljeforts was working for Nilfgaard came when the mage showed Geralt his favorite painting, The First Landing. 
Finally, Geralt realized that Viljefort's bracelet given to Tissaia was made of the same material as Lydia's jewelry, which Geralt knew was connected to Reims. Viljefort's abuse of Tissaia and Lydia. Viljefort has been manipulating Tissaia and Lydia for a while through a poison that kills you slowly. It is unclear whether The Witcher Season 3 is suggesting that Viljefort's cast a spell through Scarlet Ammonite to slowly control them, or if the poison is meant to be taken literally. Viljefort's experiments in Ciri. Viljefort wants to take Ciri's power for himself, but he's also experimenting with other girls with elf blood. He's doing this to prepare for what he wants to do with Ciri, make her power his own. Why Stregaber's Book of Monoliths is important. In Netflix's The Witcher, monoliths are mysterious, tall structures made of stellocyte that have magic properties and can serve as portals to other worlds. In Season 2, audiences learned that the monoliths serve as gateways to other spheres. Anyone who could access a monolith could banish elves from the continent into another world, reversing what happened during the conjunction of the spheres. Istred and Triss even believed that Stregaber's goal was to use the monoliths to banish those with elf blood to another dimension. The monoliths also tie into the Witcher's Wild Hunt, which wants to access the continent in physical form. Ciri's Fate in The Witcher Season 3, Part 1 Interestingly, Ciri does not appear in The Witcher Season 3, Part 1's ending. Ciri was last seen at the cabin with Jaskier, who joked about not being invited to the ball at the Conclave of Mages. Ciri was technically safe, especially after Geralt and Yennefer exposed the bad guy. In Episode 4, Ciri went to sleep after playing cards with Jaskier. The Witcher Season 3, Part 1 Finale's Ciri Absence While Ciri doesn't appear in The Witcher Season 3, Episode 5, Vildefortz's main goal is to capture Ciri and take her power, and Dijkstra wants to bring Ciri to Redania. Cyrilla of Sintra still lacks agency, as the main forces of the continent are fighting over her, but she can't make the decisions that will shape her future. The Witcher 3, Ciri's Future In time of contempt, Ciri wakes up when the mages start fighting and runs into Reince with the help of Yennefer. Ciri is then captured by a Nulfgaard mage, but Geralt and Philippa save her. Thane and Coop ends The Witcher Season 3, Part 1 the Witcher Season 3, Part 1's ending saw the start of the Fainted Coup, a conflict between mages loyal to the North and those conspiring with Nulfgaard. In Episode 5, Dijkstra's allies use special handcuffs to capture mages who have betrayed the North. Geralt hears their screams when he leaves the room. Witcher's Mage Civil War Thainted Coup the Thanid Coup is the Witcher's mage civil war. One side, led by Viljeforts, has betrayed the Northern Kingdoms and is conspiring with Nilfgaard. Some Brotherhood mages had grown unhappy with how the Northern Kingdoms were slowly alienating the mages to reduce their political power, so they followed Viljeforts, who supports the Thanid Coup. Lydia van Bredevoort and Tissaia de Vries remained on Viljeforts's side, though Tissaia later regretted her decision. Dijkstra and Philippa, who were at Thanid representing Redania, led the North's forces. While Geralt presented himself as neutral, the Witcher had no choice but to join the fight to protect Ciri. Yennefer, too, was focused on protecting Ciri. The Witcher Season 3, Part 2, Thanid Coop the Witcher Season 3, Part 1 builds up to the Fainted Coop and the Viljeforts reveal, but Episode 5 was limited to the Eratusa Ball and ended right before the fight. Part 2 is shaping up to be more action-packed than Part 1, especially if the next episode picks up where Volume 1 ended. Ciri is away from everyone, Yennefer is looking for Tissaia, and Geralt has been captured. Thanks for watching, and if you're new to channel subscribe and click the bell, so you don't miss out latest videos of Media Breakdown.